Hi, good afternoon, and welcome again. Today we're going to be talking once again about the Buzzy and Enterprise API. This is part three of our little series. And as mentioned in the blog, uh, one of the novelties is the fact that we can now access an XML output, which obviously makes creating XML-based integration objects a snap for those of us who are using Siebel tools, which also enables us to implement more easily some of our business processes. So let's take a look at an example workflow. This workflow has the uh, call to the Buzzient API, and you'll notice that I've included a header to uh, generate the XML-based output. And I've also included an EAI XML conversion to generate an integration object instance. And once I have the integration object instance, um, I'm then uh, back to general Siebel workflow techniques, dot notation for manipulating the property set, uh, using the row set transformation toolkit to count up the number of records in the property set. And at this last, I'm going to create a little uh, message broadcast uh, including uh, information about this um, particular buzzy and post. So let's imagine that we're creating an alert mechanism to tell a user when things have gone a little bit hairy and we need to uh, pay attention to it. So let's run the simulation. Walking through the simulation, uh, we'll see the call being made, and we'll see the output now available straight away in XML. And we'll walk through, I'll spare you the details, creating the integration object instance. Incidentally, the integration object was created using the XSD import wizard. And now we can see that I have the property sets in my watch window, uh, making both visualization, debugging, and general uh, manipulation a snap. I'm going to uh, use various workflow utilities, count up the number of child records in the row set with the row set transformation toolkit, and then uh, publish an alert, because in this case there are lots of replies and we need our management team to take a look. There's the simulation finished, and um, as you can see, we've got five replies in this case. So let's go and uh, start Siebel application. I'm going to log in and be the manager person just for once. And our message broadcast fires to tell us that uh, not only do we have the SR number, but the Buzzient post ID, and we now have five replies. Hmm. Another reason why the uh, availability of XML-based output is of use to Siebel and BI Publisher developers is how much easier, therefore, it would be to create Siebel BI Publisher reports. In this case, um, I've created a little report using some of the data from the uh, Buzzient output. And I think we'll just change this into a nice little dynamic image since we have the URL. And there's our PDF file, we're complete with our little link and our dynamic image and the history of the uh, event, which I can now send to my boss. Have a great day, take care, and see you soon.